I've no idea what the decks in this are. I haven't actually played Pauper ever in my life. <laughs> Alright, we've got Mono Black. So I've always liked Mono Black in general. Grey Merchant was one of my favourite cards in Theros. I actually played a lot of Mono Black back then. You know, Pack Rat and all that. What's in this deck? So it's all Swamps and Barren Moors, which is Cycle. Alright, alright. We've got Crypt Rats. Deals X damage to each creature and each player. Okay. Uh, Phyrexian Rage Eye. Draw a card, lose a life. Yep, cool. Chilling Rats. Target opponent puts a card from their hand on top of their library. Oubliette. Exile target creature and all auras attached to it. When it leaves the battlefield, return the exiled card to its owner's control. Thorn of the Black Rose. When it enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. Oh, that's cool. Victim of Knights, just solid removal, sign in blood, sacrifice a creature and lose one life. Interesting. The Witches deals one damage to any target and one damage to any target of an opponent's choice. So it looks like it's just a, a drainy deck. Winning by killing all their creatures. What's the Duke of Bug do? Exile or attack cards from player's graveyard. Okay. So just drain them out. Win with the Grey Merchant. Sideboard is Spellbomb, Duress, Nausea, Choking Sands. Should I non swamp land? If that creature was non basic, deals two damage that time. It's control. Okay, sure. More Thorns and Obi King Shinobi. Alright. Let's give it a whack. Guess nobody wants to play Pauper. Oh, there we go. Alright, so yeah, goal is tap some removal spells, play some permanents, play Grey Merchant. Alright, we've got two swamps, seems fine. We've got two cards we can cast, and we just build up to that. Yeah, it seems fine. Keep. Disfigure kills the first thing, Victim of the Night kills the second thing. They're on snow covered swamp Delva. Ooh, okay, well, we're just gonna kill that straight away. I do not want Delvas to live. Again, keep in mind, I don't play Pauper, I don't know how the decks actually work. So. I should have let it ponder first. Hmm. They're playing Preordain, so it's just a, just a Delva spells deck. Okay, we've got Ubliet. Alright, pass the turn, I have to draw a land, I guess. Disfigure whatever happens. Yeah, excuse me. Opponent does nothing. I'm assuming counter spells. Uh, so we'll go for the Rager here. I'm not too upset if they counter spell it. Literally counter spell. Cool. That's fine. <laughs> They're brainstorming. Sure. And Ogre Boldus lets them look for an instant of sorcery. Ah, oh, they're on Scred. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Um, so what's Scred? It deals damage equal to number of snow covered permanents. Snow covered permanents, yeah. So that's three at the moment. I need to draw a mountain to make, do anything with it. I think we just pass here. I don't want to use Ubliet on a 1-3. I could sign in blood myself. Yeah, maybe we just do that. Sign in blood, try and get some more lands, build up towards Grey Merchant. Monarch. Monarch's like draw an extra card at the start of your turn or something, right? Uh, I think we cast this, yeah. We're not going to cycle, we're going to play it. Monarch, MTG. 
I just want to confirm exactly what Monarch does. At the beginning of the Monarch's end step, that player draws a card. Whenever a creature deals damage to the Monarch, the controller of that creature becomes the Monarch. Okay, cool. Scratch to draw a card. It's fine, I'll allow it. There's a Delver. Okay, I think we just want to kill the Delver again. Oh, I just skipped the main step. That was silly. Um, so we can become the Monarch. They're going to take it off me with their flying creature. I think that's fine. Four. I am the Monarch. Yeah. We draw a swamp. Okay, that's cool. So next turn, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what happens, but we're probably just going to play Gary. Whenever a creature deals damage, combat damage. Okay, cool. So you can't get sneaky with that. We could, we could, damn it. They're still a mountain away from playing Scred, so that's something. Another Scred. I and the Evolving Worlds. All right, so they're getting the mountain. So that's happening. There it is. So their Scred's up to five damage. They've got ten damage in hand right now. They attack with probably just the fairy. Take the monarch off me. That's fine. They get a free card out of it. Kill both these things, attack for one, get the monarch back. I think that's probably like the best play right now, right? We might go Oubliette to build up our Black Devotion. Do we Oubliette on... No, we'll kill the creatures. We'll go, we'll go for the extra card this turn. And then next turn we can kill the fairy. Is equal to any target creature. Oh, target creature. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I'll try to get my arc back. Then next turn, I mean, there's a good chance they scred the chai at the thorn, but I could still gain four life out of it. Ooh, I can cast that next turn too, actually. So I've got five cards in the graveyard. Yeah, perfect. Yep, that's what we expected. There's a fairy, so I get to draw a card, and they get to take this back. Damn, we give them lots of stuff. I could always Crypt Rats for one. Three. Pay one to kill both their creatures. We've got two cards, one of them is a Scred. So we draw. Go. 
Expecting a counter spell here. Question is, is Crypt Rats worth countering considering it does wipe their board? Yep, that's fine. Now we can go this. Um, we can even do this, I guess. Maybe I should have waited on that. And we pass. Hope it could kill the angler, which is annoying. card out of it. Damn. Right, well, let's attack for five. I'm assuming they're going to throw this screen at me. No. Cool. Okay. Uh, we'll play the rat. A card on top of their library so we don't know what is left in their hand. Uh, we'll play the swamp. Yeah, we'll play the swamp because we do get to draw a card. Maybe it's an instant, a good instant here. It's a swamp. Hey, Asian, what's going on, man? Playing some, uh, playing some pauper tonight, mixing things up. Kind of fun so far. We our first game, very first game. Hope everything's going well on your end. Opponent probably just attacks here. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. It's, uh, it's like quarter past one in the morning, but it's fine. We can get used to having a bit of a nap today, so I've uh, got a bit of energy to burn. Definitely play at least a couple more games of this Pulper event. This thing is given by opponent all the extra cards. <laughs> right, we'll attack first. I'm still expecting him to use that second scred on my angler, which is fine. Do I play on Epic any old packs of the channel? Soon, man, definitely soon. Um, I was going to record some on Thursday night, but kids were just being problem. Maybe pull it old mythic. Yeah, hopefully. Has your, has your parcel arrived yet, man? You pulled a mythic once? I pulled a few mythic. I just did a draft where I got two mythic. Oh, online. It doesn't matter. It doesn't count, but just did a, uh, a draft where I got two mythics. So I was pretty happy about that. I don't know if they do any graveyard stuff, but we'll get rid of the graveyard anyway. Because the next return... Was that a mythic? Oh, wow. I remember that card. It was, uh, it was not great. It was fun. Yeah, it was sent earlier this week. I thought maybe it had arrived by now. Alright, let's go for Grey Merchant here. If they've got the counter spell, they've got it. If they don't, they don't. Put them to two, if it works. Yeah, there's the counter. It's their third counter spell. I suppose we are giving them... I just stand it, man. I can't afford Tractor Pass, unfortunately. We do get another car. We get Chainer's Edict. And taps two, they're gushing, drawing two cards. Hern draw all of the cards. What do we have? Six. You don't hear. Oh, it was, it was standard. Standard postage. Tracking postage is really expensive. <laughs> Alright, they hit me for one. They're going to draw another free card. They're going to have to do something here, they're going to die. Yeah, it may take a little while. It's gone. Whenever they go internationally, it may take a little while. 
Hopefully not too much longer though. Also do any H. Yeah, one day. <laughs> I wanted to do this as a special event they're running at the moment, so I wanted to uh, to do it while I could. Definitely do EDH one day. Do some multiplayer maybe. I don't know. Spell starter sprite. Alright. That's fine. Block my 5-5. Five five. Yeah. They've still got Scred in their hands. So I'm not sure why they haven't used that yet. And a lightning bolt. All right. It's definitely stopping me from doing things, which is interesting. We'll play Chittering Rats. Probably see a counter spell. Then we'll play Chainer's Edict. Nope. Okay. Kill their fairy. Hopefully. Oh, spell Stutter Sprite works. Uh, they don't have the square they used Brainstorm. Oh, they put it back a draw with Augur. They don't have the square they used Brainstorm to put it back. Ah. Okay, well, let's hide that from the known stuff. Lucky you're paying attention, Ultric. <laughs> Thanks for dropping in, Agent. That makes sense why they haven't used it. Because, yeah. It's on the bottom of their library. Uh, they can attack here if they want. No, no, no. We're probably just going to have, unless we draw something like really good, we'll probably just flash back our edict here, try to get in for some damage to get this back. Counter spell? Spell status right. XLS. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, we're still attacking here. That's fine. Trade the board. Alright, it gets rid of most of the creatures. I mean, they've still got, what, three lightning bolts and ponders and lots of stuff. Oh, it was the same scred. Okay, yeah, it was the same scred. I see. All right, depending on what they do here, two mana for a gush. My opponent's drawing lots of cards. They're down 22 cards in their library. Down 21 cards in their library. What are they doing with their preordain? They're going to. Bottom top. There's the auger. They got the lightning bolt. Got six cards in hand. Wow. This blue red deck is uh, pretty solid. There's a Delva. The third or fourth Delver? Uh, Delver Delver, it's the third Delver. Yeah, this, this thing is pretty good for them. <laughs> I think. Two, so we've got access to eight mana here. I think we attack. Go for Gary. Have you have they used all four counter spells? Have you used three spell stutter sprites, counter spell, counter spell, counter spell. So they could have a spell stutter sprite and a counter spell. Although spell stutter sprite doesn't do anything. Uh, so they're gonna, they're gonna do that and then use the lightning bolt is their plan. Expected that you take four, you go to three. Let's see what you got. They 
is a fairy. Okay, okay. Another creature. Ninja of the Deep Hours. All right. Well, we'll make a sacrifice. Well, we'll try and make a sacrifice. Draw more cards. Yeah, yeah, we know. Probably it. Okay, well, let's flash this back. See what happens. They do not have a counter spell to stop that one. This puts him to one and gives me my monarch back if it works. Bye bye. There's a chance we could have decked them. 17. We're at double their library at the moment. Alright. We got a Ravager. Because of Spell Stutter. Yes, I should have obliterated it so that they couldn't Spell Stutter for two. Yep. That's fair. Thanks, man. Alright, they're digging. There's the there's another scred. Alright, so we've got lots of live draws. Let's see what we can find. Maybe just another side in blood would be good here. There's a sign in blood, so we'll go for the Ravager first. See if they've got a counter spell. Cool. Yeah, sign him, exactly. Yeah, but we ate the counter spell. Hopefully, the sign in blood is enough to do it here. Yes, alright, got the first win. That game took over 10 minutes. <laughs> Alright, so we need to make sure that they don't... I think we probably cut the, the Monarch thing, just because it's so easy for them to take it off me. We've got a lot of 1-1s, one -one, so Nausea is actually pretty good. Um, Crip Rats is probably pretty good. Duress is in, yeah, for sure. What am I taking out, though? That's the question. This is where I always... Because I'm not good at taking cards out. Tutoring rat might not be great, but it is double black. Obl yeah, because... Oh, yeah, it's, that's for... Obl 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 that word. That's a, that's a good card for... Hexproof. You don't have kill spells for the small creatures, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We could probably take you out like. We could take out like Guess Verdict here. Because we can sweep their board rather than make them sacrifice. Like the Ninjutsu guy? Yeah, discarding cards is actually not bad. Making the discard is pretty devastating. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let me just take out like a cheering rats here. Because they're drawing so many cards, putting one on top of the library doesn't really help them out that much. So we're just bringing in lots of board wipe, lots of discard, and then still sticking with the Grey Merchant plan. Let's try it. I like learning new things. Trying new things, doing new things. They're deciding whether they want to play first or not. I'm assuming they want to play first. Could be wrong. Uh, they put me on the draw. This hand's not terrible. I've got double duress. We've got tons of lands we can draw into. I'm, I'm going to risk this one. Could be bad. Keep on draw? Yeah. Yeah, on play, I'd probably discard it. Or throw it at Mulligan, sorry. 
but we'll happily go duress into duress. Yeah, gross. We just yeah hope to find a land. What do you got? Ponder, ponder, preordain. I think we just take the ponders out. Lightning bolts, annoying. I can't cast it yet. We'll take we'll take a ponder here. We get to cast their ponder next turn. We can duress their preordain. I think as a general rule, we'll just take out whatever gives them the most access to cards. They miss on their Delva. There's the Ponder. Well, if we draw the land, I'll probably just edict it because they'll set up the draw for. Uh, they drew a land. There's the Preordain. They chose not to shuffle. Uh, they revealed. So it was Ponder, Ponder, Preordain, Scred, Lightning Bolt. We're going to Edict here. So at the moment their hand is Scred, Lightning Bolt and two unknowns. We're going to Edict here because I'm sure they've set their library up to flip that. So we'll just punish them for that. Cool. Awesome. We could have started by ourselves to try and find some more lands or... I don't know, something. Augur Bolus. They reveal another scred. Alright, we get a land here. We could duress, so their hand is scred, scred, lightning bolt, two unknowns. That's what I'm thinking, because I'm signed myself. You rest them, yeah. So they picked up a spell stutter strike, a spell sp that spell sputter stutter strike, and a ninja of the deep hours. So I think we take the lightning bolt off them here. Yeah. Yeah, sequencing. That's fair. Um, so we saw the screds, lightning bolts gone. Oh, let's see what we can draw. See if, see if we get punished or not here. No, land land. Still, but still, technically correct to uh, to hit up the sign first. Give us our, give us all our options. They're gonna take one. They're gonna ninjutsu this in. We could probably victim it next turn. They get to draw a free card here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely look at both. I think I, I kind of just wanted to get more gas into my hand, I guess. I'll try and get more gas into my hand anyway. Um, I think... So their hand is... They've got a spell stutter sprite. Kill it now, straight away. Suppose, yeah, we don't want to run into counter spells. And then just sign myself. Or do we just get rid of the Baron Morph? We'll, we'll save the Baron Morph for next turn. We're going to 13 here. We're out of a removal spell, which is annoying. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, this is kind of gross. There's the auger, yep. Again. They reveal a gush. Two cent two draw two cent, yeah. Okay, well we'll go cheater we'll play the cheating rats most likely next turn. Gary doesn't do enough for us yet, so yeah, we'll play the cheating rats. And I think we'll just keep up the two cycles.
I suckle first, yeah. Yeah. I'm in the like mind, limited mindset of always cycle for or so cycle into turn kind of deal, uh, which I think I'll still do. Probably should have done first just to look at our options, but cool. We'll do it. We'll do it in a turn. What are they going for here, Gush? Preordain. So Deadweight doesn't do anything because they've got uh, they've got the sprite to stop it from happening. Seven cards in hand, Jesus. Eight cards in, or seven cards in, yes. So top, they, they top topped last time, they top topped again. Cycle that, and cycle that. So maybe we should try and build up our board here. So we'll build it, we'll play the Phyrexian Rager. Try and make our merchant as big as possible. They could counter spell here. Counter spell here is fine. Sweet. Another swamp, that's not what we want to see. No attacks. So at the moment, if Gary lands undisputed, we get to get them for five. We don't have any good attacks. Got another Gary though. Just Edict? Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. I forgot about Edict in our graveyard. Let's do that. We've got double ga double Gary now, so that's, that's pretty good too. If we can try and eat some counter spells. Okay, if this, if this gets counter spelled, whatever. Sweet. We've used one of those screens, haven't we? No, they haven't. No mind. Thanks for helping out, man. I really appreciate you uh, sharing your thoughts here. Going for the spell starter. So that, that makes me think they've got another spell starter in their hand because they want to get up to two. Or they just want to attack me. Oh, they've got the ninjutsu. Yep. So lots of reasons to do that, I guess. I'll just seven, we're up to eight mana. All right, if they're spending basic land cycling, sure. All right, we've got witches. Gary into wait. Well, we know wait's going to get counterspelled if we cast it. Yeah, so I, I could use no witches into sprite into merchant here. I don't know if they're playing like essence scatters and stuff. Because they can't ferry it. So I think we just go for it. Unless I play the dead weight first, eat the counter spell, which is merchant. Oh, yeah. That's cheating. Let's, let's not do that. It's not cheating, but you know. Right, let's, let's let's make them use their uh, their sprite here just to tap them out. You got me. Then we get two, four, seven.
we go back to 17. And then potentially next turn we can hit them for 9 with other Gary. Plus we can do hit them for 1 here without any real repercussions on us. Evolving Wilds. They do have the Screds, so actually that's... Yeah. There's a Delver. They can attack with the Sprite. Blocks, of course. All right, we'll go for Rager. See what we get, and then if they counter it, awesome. Is it Delva? So they've got Brainstorm, Counterspell, Gush. Yeah, no other Counterspell except for that. Um, Let's just go for it here. If they've got the counter spell, I don't think I'm too upset. Like, it's not good for us, but it's fine. Two, four, six, seven, eight. They're gushing. I wouldn't have been able to cast Merchant. We put him to five. Do we have a taxi? I think we have some pretty good attack. We don't have good attacks. They can what, block, block, block. They're gonna lose some. They're gonna lose a creature. Block. Attack all they can. All right. You're in charge. Expect that, oh yeah, eat that. Chumpy chump. Well, not chumpy, but bounce those two. Yep, that's fine. We've got Duress next turn. We've got four attackers to four blockers. Delva does not flip. Good, good. Good trades, yeah. Alright, they get a free draw here. If we, if we get that, like, minus one to all creatures thing, that's just beautiful. Probably the best card we can draw right now is, is minus one to all creatures. They get some free attacks here. They're only on five. Do they have ninjutsu again? Have a baby coughing. Edict. I guess we go for the edict. Try and hit the counter spell and then duress. Yeah. So if Edict needs a counter spell, if it, a, if it gets a fairy, that's the worst. So it has to be a fairy. What am I talking about? So it gets a fairy. They've got three cards left. We get to duress one of them away. If they've got a scred, they'll just cast it now. Yep, there's that. Two cards left, what do you got? Counter spell, land. Alright, so the hand is island. So attack all, if we attack all again, we've got one, two, three, four, five, we've got six points apart to, so I can kill two of my creatures and they would lose a couple. Yeah, we, we knew they had the scred. I mean, three of the, f four of the creatures are flying and one is probably going to be flying. Yeah, no, that's fair, that's fair. Right, if we attack with everything, what do they do? They block here, 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 here. One, two. Yeah, I think like, if we attack, we, we take out most of their creatures. Like, we can take out potentially two to three of their creatures. And then we just kind of hope we draw something good. I think we attack. Like, it's not bad. We've got them down to no cards, or besides a 
single mountain. Okay, well they just do that, I suppose that's 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 relevant. <laughs> we need to like we, we literally need to draw either the rats that deal damage to everything or the minus one minus one to everything. Hope our opponent misses here. They do. Cool. Yep. Actually, even sign in blood would be good here. We take four. We've got what six turn clock if they're hitting us for four a turn. They play the land. They got one card left. Which is as good. Block, block, block. Hit me back for four. Yeah, let's just take with everything again. They block, block, and probably just block, chump on there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, that's a risky one. They take the two damage from the merchant here. Uh, we play witches. Yeah, come on, Crip Rats. Like, I just literally. Just Crip Rats or the other. Th we, we cited in the, the instant, dude. You had a basic land cycling. Alright, so they've got. They need to deal with my witches or they're dead. Okay, we're in a pretty good spot here. Yeah, we literally have them dead on board unless they have a bounce spell or a removal spell. They attack with everything. Attack with two creatures, sure. They have a ninjutsu maybe, no. They have a ninjutsu. Yep. Alright, so they're, ho they're hoping to draw into like Lightning Bolt. We've got so many live draws in our deck right now. It's not even funny. They drew a card. They're pondering. Oh, they're digging. They've got so many cards to dig too, so it's fair. But, they're digging. Fairy, they're, digging, they're still digging. Oh, if they don't hit, they don't hit here. Like, oh. <laughs> wow. So they they drew. So they they land cycled a card out of their deck before the turn. They drew for the turn. They drew from the ninjutsu. Actually, does this let you do? What does that do? It just reveals. They drew for the ninjutsu, they looked at three cards to ponder, and then they fairy miscreated. So they looked at like six cards out of 24. They looked through a quarter of their deck and did not see a single removal spell, which we know they have plenty of. All right. We are 1-0 in the popper tournament. Yeah, they, so they drew the sprite, but the, the sprite draws them another card. Oh, spell status sprite. I missed that. All right. That was fun. <laughs>